What is up guys, Play Commander here, and welcome back to more Let's Play No More Heroes. In the last episode, we got through our first boss fight, and we started exploring Santa Destroy, but we didn't get very far. So, today we're going to be continuing doing that by taking on our first assassination mission. Which is kind of the highlight of this game, aside from the boss fights, of course. Travis, welcome. Here is a list of jobs you can do on your next rank. Alright, so, basically, we unlocked two for the thing that we did last episode, the little side job. We did the coconut collector. And for our troubles, the person, the guy that, the job guy, I, I don't know if he has a name, but long story short, he gave us a ticket to go here. And he is kind of, he's basically hiring us as a hitman. So now we can do fun stuff. Much more exciting than coconuts. 30,000 LBs for assassinating somebody. Sounds like a great job. And obviously there's no laws in this universe, so why why hesitate? There obviously murder isn't illegal. Obviously assassination is completely okay. There's no cops in this universe that the concept of a moral high ground doesn't exist. So screw it. Travis wants to get laid and the best way to do that is by killing people. Please, for the love of God, don't do that in real life. This is just a good game to help you vent, but don't emulate it for the... <sighs> okay. I normally don't get political. In fact, I... I hate politics. But... The whole video games cause violence bullshit. Just... No. That's all I have to say is just... No. It's not... <sighs> I play this game because it's fun, not because I enjoy killing people. Like, oh my god, I'm not... Just because I enjoy this video game does not make me a psychopath. I'm not gonna go too in-depth too in on that, but... Just, this game's fun, damn it! Doesn't make me a murderer. <laughs> Alright, so our first mission. Basically, there's going to be a target on one guy. That is our target. He's the one we have to kill. Everybody else is just there to get in the way. I believe he's the one in the back. Yes, he is. Alright, so just run past, ignore everybody else as best I can. Uh, hey, stop running away. Stop it, stop it. Hey, get back here. You. You are the one that needs to die. I want to wrestle you. Yes! Good, good, good. Alright, now stab you. Oh, no, flash. That's gonna get me, uh, oh, got me one kill. I'll take it. Not bad at all. First mission down and only, like, three minutes into the episode. Very nice. 21 seconds for 30,000 LBs. And that was only a silver. We could have done much, much better. So, yeah. That's a great way to get money in this game. It's much faster than doing the side jobs, and in my opinion, much more fun. And as you can see, we already have the money for it. But, I don't think I'm gonna do that just yet. I actually want to head back to the assassination place and pick up our second job, because as you saw there, there's actually two uh, missions that we had unlocked. That was the first one, which is the first in a chain of three. Yes, the assassination missions kind of have the, their own little subplot, kind of. But, yeah. Pretty much, um, that was the first of them. The second one, I'm pretty sure, is completely unrelated to that, but... Eh. What matters is- oh my god, there are cops in this universe. Do your job! <laughs> You're clearly not good at it. But yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take on the second assassination mission. So let's go ahead and accept that. See, I actually don't remember what mission this is, so let's find that out. Alright, list of jobs, come on. Kill until you die. Mission ends when your life runs out. 2,000 LB per kill. Alright, seems pretty simple. I'm pretty sure this mission has a time limit, I think. So, even if you never die, I am fairly certain that it is possible to end it, like, without dying. Oh, wait, no, it's not a time limit. There's a set number of enemies, that's it. Okay, I remember now. I remember the thing. All right, I don't... Travis, why did you stab the... How did he do that? He just stabbed into solid asphalt. What? <laughs> How do I logic? All right, I'm... 
uh, granted, there would be a lot more to do in this overworld later on. I believe after you become rank 8 in the UAA, with the, the uh, United Assassins Association, I'm pretty sure they pointed that out in cutscenes, but I don't think I personally ever actually said it by name. So yeah, that's what that's what this is. When, when we become uh, rank 8, we unlock a lot of stuff to do in the overworld, so we're not really going to be doing much around here until then. But I do want to just take kind of like a general lap around just to kind of like show off the sights because it is a pretty impressive overworld. At least for Wii standards. It's surprisingly large and there's kind of a lot going on. Alright. Alright. This is the same location, but the difference in this mission is that there's no target this time. So it's pretty much just kill everybody you can. Now... I was right, there is a time limit, but there also is a set number of enemies, so we are gonna still want to try as hard as we can to take all of those out. Come on, die. No, low hits, low hits, there we go. There we go, wanted the triangle kill. I think that was the first one we got this episode. Come on, I want to get low hits on you. There we go. Come on. Good, I think I only got one kill that time. That's bound to get a bunch. Whoa, holy crap, the slowdown. Uh, it's upward. One to go. I believe you're the last one left. Is that everybody? Mission well done. Very, very nice. Got every single kill, so we got the same amount of money for the other one. Which is the reason that I kind of prefer the other mission, because it's... You only have to kill one guy and you get the same amount of money. I don't really understand why you would do this one above that if you're trying to grind for money that is i mean this one is kind of a little bit more satisfying in the sense that you kill everybody in the room but yeah that's pretty much all there is to it some of the assassination assassination missions are admittedly kind of samey but it, it doesn't really matter to me you might be the kind of person that like that kind of thing would bother because i don't know maybe you're Maybe you're the kind of gamer that, like, you want to be doing something different every single time. Lava Cov Ball, hello! I didn't know that was there, I just came back here for the dumpster. Uh, yeah, you can find money in the dumpsters, but... I believe we need seven Lava Cov Balls, I think that was our third. Uh, sure, SUV, you can't just go around the bike. We have to get it out of the way, because we parked it in the middle of the road for some reason. Alright, so, um, there's pretty much nothing left here to do- Oh, wait, yes, there is! Uh, that little M on the map, that is an overworld mission. I want to go do that. I, admittedly, never really partook in these all that much. Is there seriously no dumpster back here? Okay, I guess not. Um, admittedly, I've played through this game like four times. I've never really messed with these all that much. So, this is gonna be kinda somewhat new to me, actually. I remember, like, messing with one or two of them on, like, my first playthrough, but after that, I never really bothered. I don't particularly remember why, but I guess we're about to find out. <laughs> so, I honestly have no idea where this is, though. I guess in the meantime, I could talk about the, uh, the Spell Tiger. Oh, there it is. Um, anyway, well, I, actually, I'm gonna talk about this anyway. Spell Tiger. Uh, as you could see, where your battery meter would normally go for the Beam Katana... Uh, you have your nitro meter. Uh, your speed is down at the bottom. It's kind of just like your arbitrary time limit. Or not time limit. Um, arbitrary speed meter. That doesn't really serve any purpose whatsoever. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, however, there are a couple tricks for this that lets you get over on the world uh, overwall a little bit faster. As you can clearly see, the nitro makes you go extremely fast. Whenever you drift, it actually automatically refills it. The way you do that is by turning the Wii Remote to the left or right and hitting B. It's kind of a weird control scheme, but it's very functional, and it's actually surprisingly fluid in, in uh, execution. Uh, that There is a couple more things you could do with the Spell Tiger, but that, that's kind of like the only one that I really use consistently, so. Let's go find out what this mission is. I love the Bouncy Star. Why don't more games have a Bouncy Star? More games need a Bouncy Star. Free Fight Mission. Kill and take, you take- Whoa! That's probably why I never messed with these all that much! Alright, please tell me none of you are gunners. 
No. Okay. All of you are. You got. You all got like knuckles or something. I guess I'll just hit you. You guys don't seem to be doing anything. All right. Come on. Get you by surprise. Oh. Is that all there is? Oh no! There's more of you. There is more of you. There is plenty more. I hit you guys as much as I can. Two kills for one. Very nice. Oh god, this is stressful. This is really stressful. Oh god. I'm scared. I'm scared to take a hit. Oh god. Damn it! Damn, this is hard. Huh. You know, maybe I will mess around with this until the end of the episode. Oh, never mind, it's gone. I was gonna retry it, but I guess that's not an option available to me at this particular moment. Oh well. <laughs> Alright, so, um, yeah, there's pretty much nothing left to do in the overworld, aside from just kind of wandering around looking for dumpsters, but, like I said before, after we become rank 8th, there is going to be a lot more to do in the overworld, so I'm going to save wandering around for that. Just because we're kind of going to be wandering around anyway, so we might as well just save it for when we're actually going to be doing stuff. That being said, when I see a dumpster, <laughs> I, I instinctively want to go punch it. That is what I want to do with every dumpster that I see in real life. I just want to randomly walk up and punch it, because you never know, you could find $4,000! Video games are weird. Alright, I think all that's left to- I missed my turn. Back up. Back up. There we go! I'm uh, pretty sure the only thing left to do at this point is go pay for a rank fight. The little uh, dollar sign, you can't really see it, it's behind the job center. There it is. Uh, that is where you pay for your rank fights, and when you have enough money, you stop here, deposit your cash into the ATM, and that's pretty much it. How this makes it makes its way back to Sylvia, I have no idea, but I, I, I guess they got a system figured out. Because apparently this is an association filled with a bunch of people, so they I would imagine that they probably have a system. Which is kind of messed up when you think about it, because this is literally just a blood sport. There is no purpose for it. It's literally... It, it just exists. It just exists for the sake of existing. There's no reason for these people to become assassins. They just do it because they want to. In Travis's case, he just wants to bang. Hey, Travis, the next fight has been prepared. Destroy Stadium. Dr. Peace is waiting for you. Hop to it. Alright, so I kind of neglected to actually say it in the moment, but you could probably gather from context of what I just did. Yeah, um, you pay for the rank fight. Hi, Gene, I see you in the background there. You are adorable, and I want you. But yeah, um, you you go back to the apartment after you pay for your ranked fight, and you will get a call, and that will basically tell you, hey, your mission is set up, you can go there now. And then when you exit the apartment again, the entrance to the ranked battle will be open. So now, we can actually see that on our map, the little number 9 in Roman numerals over there. So let's go ahead and make our way over to, as Sylvia said, Destroy Stadium, which, as you probably figured out, is a baseball field. This is one of my favorite areas in the game thematically. It is not one of my favorite game... or my favorite games. It's not one of my favorite locations gameplay-wise. For reasons you'll kind of see. It's kind of crowded. As you would expect from, you know, a, a baseball stadium. But... It, it, crowded in the sense that not that it's full of people, but like... It's nothing but hallways. It's just... You wouldn't really expect that from a baseball field, but... Yeah, whatever. I haven't actually went to a baseball stadium in so long. I think I've been to the old Yankee Stadium back before they rebuilt it. Um, or did they rebuild it, or did they just change that to, to the Mets Stadium? I don't know exactly how that went down. All I know is that I went to a Yankee Stadium at some point, and I'm pretty sure it was the old one, because it was a long-ass time ago. But I'm pretty sure that was the last time I actually went to a baseball stadium, now that I think about it. I should watch more baseball. Baseball's fun. Listen to my 
I love that little sequence there. They have that for every ranked fight, and it's awesome. It's so cool. That little, um, that, like, weird, gritty whisper of the assassin's name, the the silhouette that appears on screen. It's just a really nice transition. I really like the, the stylistic choice that they went for there. And, yeah, Baseball Stadium. So, we're fighting baseball enemies. How they got into an assassin's association with nothing but baseball bats is beyond me, but they're easy fodder for our lightsaber. So, let's go ahead and make quick work of them. Go ahead and kill you. I'll lock you into the combo. Good. Alright, so, as you can see, I've been kind of switching back and forth between high and low. That's... Yeah, that's kind of what I was talking about in the first episode, where you can kind of lock enemies into a combo. There's a kind of, like, a rhythm to it that you kind of have to figure out. It's a little bit weird to actually figure out, but once you do it, it's surprisingly useful, especially for just, like, general enemies and stuff. It doesn't work all that well on bosses. In some cases, it can extend your combos just a little bit on bosses, but I tend not to do it just because it can put you at risk, and some of the bosses in this game later on are really difficult, so I don't, I don't usually risk it on boss fights. That being said, this is probably the easiest boss in the game, so I might try it on him. Dr. Peace actually has a pretty interesting backstory. I don't know all the little details on it, so for the sake of being afraid to get anything wrong, I will just say, go ahead and look up the, um, the background information on the No More Heroes wiki. That's a really great resource that I've actually been using for a general, like, a lot of general information for this LP. Because despite playing it four times, you probably imagine with the amount of video games I play, I don't remember every little detail, so that's a really good resource. And it's also just pretty interesting to hear about the little hidden backstories of every single assassin. And Dr. Peace is one of the most interesting ones in the regards to, in regards to backstory, so I definitely recommend giving that a read if you have the time. Alright, we've got a trading card, very nice. Um, did we, okay. I could have swore you, I remember, like, you have to break that open, but apparently not. Apparently we just run this way. There's really not much to do here. There's nothing going on. Oh my god, this hall is so empty. Come on! Hey, look, a chest! Is that another card? It's money! Alright, whoa, that's a lot of- that's a lot of enemies, okay. I got this! No worries, fam! We good! Alright, you're dead. I want to do my little low high combo on you. Was hoping I would get two of. Oh, I got. I think that's the long range one. Yes. Okay. Not even gonna worry about you guys. I think that missed. That hit. That absolutely hit. Hey, no, hey, hey, hey! Stay away from me. Here's the pitch. Here's the pitch. Better up, motherfucker. You're dead. I love it. I love the I love the weapon the um the the, the special reels in this game. Ooh, slip to the side of him. Hey, I wanna I wanna wrestle. You wanna wrestle, boy? You wanna wrestle? You wanna you wanna do the wrestling? You like that, buddy? Do you want you wanna do the thing? There you go. Took you long enough. Die. How you flipped over from your stomach to your back in that short amount of time is beyond me, but whatever. Alright, let's go through here. Who is opening this gate? You'd think they'd be trying to keep me out, not letting me in. Who operated that? Oh, this part. Okay. This is pretty interesting. Whatever you're picturing they're gonna make you do, that's exactly what they're about to make me do. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's baseball. <laughs> Batter's up. Come on. Oh, I missed. I haven't played this in a while. I'm probably going to be bad at it. How hard you swing the Wii Remote and the timing determines how good and how many of the players you're going to actually hit. Last pitch. Let's see if I can actually get all of them. Come on. Did I get all of you? Yes! Nice. Not bad at all. And they all randomly explode, despite only just getting hit by a baseball. Why that makes a 
human spontaneously combust is beyond me, but open box. Thank you. But yeah, that's a thing that happens for some unexplained reason. Uh, let's go ahead and open up this box. More money. And I'm going to go ahead and assume that this is a trading card. Nope, it's more money. I'll, I'll take it. I already made back a lot of the money that I spent on this ranked fight. Uh, let's go ahead and kill all of you guys. I'm going to dodge out of the way because one of them's charging up their attack. Uh, weapon clash. Ah, oh, man, I was hoping to get all three. Is there going to be a trading card in that one? Maybe. Can I have the thing? Trading card! Yay! Alright. Two of you left. How that initiated a weapon clash? He was not even charging his weapon. Did you just try to throw a baseball at me at point-blank range? I don't think attacking works that way. You could have much easier even just... You could have made this a lot simpler by simply just punching me. Holding a baseball? A punch would probably freaking hurt. Really bad. So, why you bothered to throw it at me is strange, but whatever. Come on, Travis, walk a little bit faster. There's no enemies to kill with your special right now. Where's the bouncy star? There it is. And uh, we just hit a checkpoint, but I think I'm actually going to call it here for this episode. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Plan Commander. Be sure to tune in next time for more Let's Play No More Heroes, where we continue on through Destroy Stadium in our attempt to catch up to Mr. Dr. Peace. I'll see you guys then. You're going down, bitch.